National Executive Council to convene special session for implementation of reports by panels that investigated cases of police brutality. We'll talk about the Nigerian police this morning. Barrister Monde Ubani seeks implementation of court judgment that stops federal lawmakers from fixing their own salaries. Barrister Ubani will be speaking to us this morning. And an online medium publishes details of money transfers from the Central Bank of Nigeria to Co app. Welcome to the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's a very beautiful Thursday morning, the 24th of June 2021. I am Aneta Felix. And I am Usaogi Ogbon. Thank you very much for waking up with us this morning and uh, for, of course, uh, kicking off our Thursday morning with us. We hope that you enjoyed the conversations we're about to have. Yes, and uh, talking about conversations, we know first of all that an online medium, People's Gazette, has published an exclusive report about the federal government paying monies to crow through the Central Bank of Nigeria. And uh, Gazette said the funds were for the setting up of Crow, so it would rival Twitter and Facebook. Crow founder um, Adam Ugaba is known to be a critic of Twitter and the role it played in the NSAS protest. Gaba admits his company got money from the CBN, but said it was for a different reason. Um, take a listen to Adam Ugaba as he defends himself against the publication by the People's Gazette. I don't know why um, these guys like to try on fake news. And I really don't know why Samuel Ogundipe uh, is hell bent on trying to paint dark, fake, confused information out there for the purpose of maybe uh, trying to uh, get, 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 get viewership or patronage of his, of his media. He contacted me and asked me the details. And I gave him full details about what happened. I think it's one of the intervention projects. Usually, for those that know the working of government, there are some agencies that get intervention from government to get their project executed. In return, the CBN makes the payment. In fact, this project has been concluded since 2017. We even got our payment, I think, in 2019, two years after. So how can that possibly be the development, uh, used for the development of Crow? You know, Crow, we develop it 100% with internal funding. In fact, I told him that if People Gazette will want to invest in Crow, we want him to come and invest in Crow. We will open the books of investment. We will show them exactly how the development was funded. And then we will want them to come also and invest. Now that was the head of Curry App, IPIS Solutions. It's a company um, that deals in software engineering and development based in Abuja. And we know that Adam Gaba was also a presidential aspirant and also that he started talking about Crow app when the federal government said they were going to uh, suspend Twitter for the time being. So this really has opened up a can of worms. And, you know, the, the conversation really is about why, you know, did the federal government ban Twitter in the first place? You know, because if we're getting information that in 2018, the Central Bank of Nigeria allegedly funded you know, a social media application to rival Facebook, Twitter, and, you know, other social media apps. It then makes you think that the federal government really suspend Twitter just because of a tweet, because this seems like something that has been, you know, a long time coming. Oh, well, um, so there are reasons for suspending Twitter. You know, they, you know the Minister of Information has uh, mentioned that it is, you know, because it's, uh, well, it says it's in Nigeria's interest to protect Nigeria's integrity and some of our, you know, other different reasons, you know, they have been back and forth um, concerning whether, you know, it has anything to do with the NSAS protest um, or because, you know, it allows, you know, the likes of ESN and Namdi Kano and, you know, the, the many reasons. Um, but, you know, just like the conversation I had yesterday on um, Plus Politics, it, it's, it's very, very difficult for you to see any other reasons different from, you know, the fact that they have in, you know, court Bad Bele for Twitter and, you know, they have to find a way to control it. And it's really not, you know, about the uh, level of false information and, you know, some of the other reasons as that they keep claimed. giving, you know, as they keep, you know, claiming. Um, they say, very, a, a, how they say, no, they, if uh, an owl cries, you know, at night and the child dies in the morning, you know, it's very likely that you point to the, the owl. I think I said that wrong, but anyway. 
Um, so that's about their reasons. Um, you know, did they give money to Adamu Gaba? You know, it's pretty obvious that they did. You know, and every now and then, um, when these accusations come up, people would always say, well, if they are completely false, then you can go ahead and sue. But he doesn't seem to be uh, challenging, you know, the fact that, you know, he did receive money from the CBN. Um, does the Central Bank of Nigeria <clears throat> um, give out funds for these interventions for um, projects, you know, to private citizens? Um, I, I'm guessing that there is some uh, funding, you know, just like the Bank of Industry and some other, other you know, uh, platforms like that. Uh, to um, uh, uh, individuals who want to, you know, to start up, you know, one business or the other, okay. invest in information technology or whatever it is. But you remember about two weeks ago when we, you know, had a conversation about this same app, um, and I said that I believe that a lot of people, there are certain people, not a lot of people, there are certain people who their views and their conversations concerning this, you know, whole situation and the suspension of Twitter. Um, is driven by their own personal interests. And I mentioned it, you know, with regards to Damugaba and, um, um, I don't remember his name now, Reginald Daniel's husband. Um, Walker. Yeah. So, you know, it is it is driven by their own personal interests, not necessarily because they want truth or they are being honest with their feelings. Everybody who wakes up in the morning and goes on television and says, oh, you know, Twitter insulted Nigeria and insulted, you know, the, 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 the president, um, I believe that those thoughts and those views are coming from their own personal interests. See, it cannot really, be logic. No, no learned Nigerian. Talking would, about would, personal interests, really, we know that during that entire protest, the person of Adamu Gaba filed a lawsuit against Twitter, mm. saying the app, you know, cons constituted an existential threat to Nigeria. Yeah. But you had your own rival app in the works. I mean, I feel the sky is big enough for everyone to fly. If you have, you know, an application or whatever it is that rivals something else, go ahead and do your thing. Yeah, well, so once again, personal you interest. You didn't have to, you know, try to pull down Twitter. It's per really, once again, personal interest you know? because, you know, in that community and in a regular business community, uh, there are those who want to play the game dirty and would rather kill a business so that theirs can thrive. Um, and, um, you know, they can make money from that same business. So it's, it's pretty much, you know, in, in, in you know, the same conversation, the same line. You know, you try to pull this one down so that yours can thrive. So the bone of contention here now is whether the federal government, um, whether he reached out to somebody in the federal government and said, oh, um, you know, I can bring up this, old, this rival app, you know, and so you guys should help me with, you know, um, you know, ways to pull down Twitter so that, you know, this one can thrive, you know, and, you know, I, I know this person, I know that person, you know, and he got funding and, you know, you know, eventually then, he, you know, invested in setting his own app. That's where the bone of contention is. Exactly. And he says, oh, no, you know, the money was given for something else, you know, totally different intervention project. Um, and not, but he got you know, paid for, for two app. years after he yeah. completed it. You know, so you really, know that's just the is. issue. No, there's no dispute in the fact that the federal government or the CBN actually gave Adamu Gaba's um, IPIS uh, solutions a sum of 136.8 million naira on, you know, May 21st, 2019. No dispute in the fact. The CBN made a transfer to yeah. Adamu Gaba's um, company. Funny. You, you know, so uh, the issue now is what was the money meant for? You know, People's Gazette is saying the money was for the funding of Crow app to rival social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter. Which is not but even possible, if you're being honest. We have no idea. Okay. That's, why the, what, that's why it's the, it's the main issue now. While, you know, um, Crow or Adam Mugaba is saying, you know, it's for something else. So let's move on now. We know that... Um, there are many employees in Nigeria who daily complain about unpaid salaries. Some complain to their relatives, others do it on social media. Now, there are people who tell their employers either via mail, a letter or face to face. But a news anchor in Kenya decided to complain during live news. Take a look. It is the 19th of June, 2021. Welcome. Top stories making headlines today. President Lungo Honas KK, TCZ suspends physical submission of applications. PF and UPND sign violent free accord. Accounts commit suicide over date. Zamba records 1,860 new cases, COVID-19 cases. In international news, Iran elections guidelines rise to become president. In sports news, Sports league battles till the end day. Away from the news, ladies and gentlemen. 
we are human beings. We have to get paid. Unfortunately, on KBN, we haven't been paid. People are getting instruments on KBN. Tapiro Josimata, Sharon, and everybody else haven't been paid, including myself. We have to get paid. All right, his name is Kabinda Kalimina, and apologies, he is not Kenyan, he is from Zambia. He's a Zambian news presenter of uh, KBN TV. You know, the video we just played showed um, Kabinda reading the headlines, and then he went on to say, away from the news, and he said, we have not been paid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he mentioned the names of all the favorite TV anchors in Zambia, saying even Sharon hasn't been paid. I myself haven't been paid. And he said, you know, we're humans, we need to get paid. You know, KB and TV have responded. They said that Kabinda was drunk. I don't know why he wasn't drunk when he wasn't reading the headlines till he, or well, the alcohol um, didn't kick in. But they said, that, um, they said that they were going to sanction him. They added that everyone, maybe people in the PCR like uh, Shea and the rest, <laughs> they said everyone in the PCR would be sanctioned. Anyone who assisted him, you know, because they're like, they should have yanked him off when he started going off the news. So that basically is what it is. Would you complain wow. about your salary? On TV, so, so I think it's it's uh, that's you know you know a level of unprofessionalism that I don't think anybody should get to. You think so? Um, but there's where water will pass, Gary. That you <laughs> that you <laughs> that you have to when you think of the fact that your rent is due, your wife <laughs> has been asking you for money for two and maybe months. Maybe she just gave birth you know, to twins. Just probably they even just give birth. You know, she's just being a wife. You know, asking for money and. You know, you can't, you know, provide those funds. You know, roof is leaking. The shoe you've been wearing, you're wearing the same shoe for protest. two years. Because who would um, report the protest if you're protesting? You're the presenter and reporter. Well, you know, I'm just saying, you know, there's where water will pass, Gary, that you would say, man, <laughs> I don't care it's about... Question, I don't care about would these. Would you do that? No, hell no. I get this. There's, there's sure? some things... Oops, never. Never. There's things that would that you know you would never ever you can never get to you know it, it it's it's too shameful you it know and also it. looking forward to looking forward to you know whatever it is because if you get fired you know wherever you are eventually moving to they're going to look at some of these things as reasons to not even hire exactly. you know a person so so hell no it's not it's not it's very very unprofessional um, there are other ways that you can, of course, express your grievances, um, your, your pain and your anger. You can decide to not show up to work, maybe, you know. But going on live TV to do that um, doesn't in any way get you paid faster um, and also makes you look, you know, very, 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 very unprofessional. Um, so I can't remember the first thing I was going to say. But, yeah, you know, if, for a person who was reading like that, I don't even know why they should pay you. Um, because if you listen to the, you know, the headlines that he was reading, he didn't sound like he, you know, was educated in any way. Or oh, my God, okay. um, That's my first observation. If you look at, you know, the headlines, the way he was reading, counting words, you know, looking very, Maybe very because he already confused. knew what he wanted to do, so he so wasn't maybe, himself. Yeah, so he that, was looking for, right, I think he was probably looking for the right moment to bring it in. Yeah, that, know, was, so that was his a mindset was thinking of, you know, do I do this or do I not yes. do this? Um, but please pay him his salaries. Yes, please um, pay him. But the issue is, would he find employment elsewhere, though? I'm sure he he will. Sure I'm he sure will. he will. He's for, become for sort the, of a celebrity now. For the most popular, yeah, for the, and in Africa. For for every person who has to be on on screen or has to be on radio, um, for you to be able to give the absolute best of your abilities and the best of yourself, you know, um, salaries are very very important. Your remuneration is very very important, um, and so regardless of how many times, listen, TV presenters, radio presenters, they go on air every morning or every day. Um, and have to give the very, very best delivery of themselves, regardless of what um, issues they're facing back at home. There are people who, you know, walk into the studio crying, you know, but when they get on camera, Even they have to... Even when they're drenched? It doesn't matter. Yes. You have to give that, you know, the very best of yourself. And so, regardless of your family problems, regardless of, you know, who broke your heart, you know, last week, regardless of finding that your wife was cheating or that your husband has a child outside, you still need to go on camera and give the very best of yourself. So the organization you work for should not add to the stress that you're dealing with. I agree. All right. Let's take a break here and uh, uh, take a look at what's uh, trending on the newspapers this morning.